Hello Hectors and welcome back to my studio and in today's video I'm gonna revise my first digital power supply. Let's start. I made this homemade digital power supply and I published the project on my blogspot on October 2012 that is 12 years ago. Alright and now I'm gonna revise and you're gonna see it how I build it. So let me first introduce to my homemade two or three in one power station. It have three sections. The first section is power supply, digital adjustable power supply, supply from zero to 15 volts and one amp. This section is digital thermometer that measure the the temperature on the transistor 2 and 35-55 and also I have added a dual sensor that is Dallas DS18B20 two of them for, for, for outside and inside temperature and the third section is the most important which is digital power supply adjustable from 0 to 30 volts with adjustable current limit from 0 to 3 amps this is for adjusting the voltage this is for adjusting the current we have three main switches for each section and let's power up power up the cable and to mention that this my homemade digital power supply is 12 years old and all is made by my hands let's power I can see that the power supply is not working it should work but not let's turn it on this one the first digital power supply section is working I can change the voltage from 0 0.8 maximum is 17 volts all right let's try the temperature meter nope and something is wrong when I turning on the voltage is dropping and this one it's not working let's open it to mention that the box is made out of wood and you can see that the wood is falling apart I need to make a new box but now I'm gonna open this After 12 years, I open it. Wow! Take a look at my beast power supply. All these are made by me. This is the adjustable power unit with adjustable voltage and current. PCB with all electronic components, solder it. Big heatsink for the 2N3055 transistor that says Toshiba, made in Japan. I have very big toroid transformer. I don't know how many watts are. Is this? Oh. Okay, let's try to find the problem with this unit. I found the problem why the main power supply is not working. The main model with the Atmega 8 chip it's not connected properly. Look, maybe from shaking the box, have separate from the LCD model. Let's try now. Turning on, 
yes we have numbers now I'm gonna test the main power supply you can adjust the voltage you can see I forgot to mention there is a multi-turn potentiometer for the voltage that's why it's so accurate okay here I have a testing bulb go here and here I'm gonna adjust the current increase the voltage and look it's working fine it's pulling 370 milliampers and I can set the current limiter look the blue LED means that the current is limited alright not working 100% properly alright increase the voltage 12 volts alright the blinking LED means that the current is limit alright now let's test the second power supply power on 0.8 volts increasing yep working fine 12 volts with blue display which was very hard to find 12 years ago turning on turning off turning on right working fine the problem with this section which is the temperature meter when I power on, here the voltage drops, meaning that something is wrong, something is pulling the current, and that I need to test that. I'm gonna find it. Here, view from the opposite side, you can see the model with Atmega 8 chip and the LCD screen, the multi turn potentiometer. This is the whole PC before the digital thermometer. The first, no, the second power supply with the blue display. And I, keep, I can't believe it that I have built the whole thing this is awesome back in time I also figure out that the, this switch for selecting inside or outside sensor there is nothing here not no wire solder it and the sensor is also pull out I need to figure out and find my plans so can so I can fix this. I love this power supply. Alright. In this video I wanted just to show you what I built 12 years ago because I don't have money to buy a new power station, so I built my own that looks awesome. And maybe in my second video I will show you 100% working device that was all for today video thank you for watching give a like share and subscribe to my channel I even made the front panel with letters numbers printed. 
This is great. Wow. A washer. Bad thing inside. <laughs>